Hello everybody out there in YouTube world. Um, yeah, I'm back online now. Uh, for those of you who've been wondering where I've disappeared to uh, off my channel, yeah. I'm not long moving to a, a new property. It's a flat through uh, the homeless uh, uh, rehousing company called P3, who I've been with now, gosh, since February this, of this year. Um, I'm on what they call the, the phase three part. Well, I'm in a flat, it's self-contained, you've got all the utilities in here. Uh, I've been, it's my, sec my second week today, so I've managed to get back online as from the early hours of this morning. Um, and it's nice as well. It's a nice, it's a nice home, nice little home. It's a three-year contract um, with P3, but um, I still have to keep on bidding as well, you know, for other properties for me to move in eventually. But they said there's no pressure at all as such. So, but I will still keep bidding to when I get somewhere, which I'm happy to move to close to my family because I don't want to be living too far from them because of my own uh, little things I've been going through. But uh, how am I myself? Um, boy, where should I start? I heard some news recently. Um, a relative of mine, one of my nieces, um, she passed away over the weekend. Um, I won't go into detail about what happened, but yeah, she was no longer with us. I mean, I only found out the other day because of not being online. So one of my other nieces contacted me to ask me if I was all right and through text message. So I thought this was a bit strange, this kind of text message. So I called her back and she told me what happened uh, to my other niece, Chantelle. Boy, life, eh? it's a funny old thing. When you think you're trying to get back yourself from your own little problems that you've been going through, you know, and then something like this happens, you know, it's, um, hmm. No, what a year it's been. For those of you on my channel who don't know, but my mum passed away this year um, on the 15th of Feb. And now my niece, Chantelle. Boy. I don't know what happened with Chantelle. It's mental health related, you know, it is. That's the thing with mental health. The trouble is, when you suffer from it, as I have been myself, people don't get to see you suffering as such. Because when you go out in public, you know you're suffering from mental health related problems. You put on a brave face to say that I'm okay. But as soon as when you come away from being in the public and you're back in your own place and your doors are closed all around you, then the truth of your mental health does manifest in itself. It's a fact because I know myself, you know, because there's been times, you know, because I've been on my own now that I cry myself to sleep sometimes. And I do, even to this day, I still do now and again. But I, even though I'm doing my, my training and my meditating and that, you know, it's still there. It's still there. People say, does it ever go away, your mental health problems? No, they don't. But... You learn how to deal with them because of, our, because of all the support networks that are out there. I mean, they're good having them, don't get me wrong, but it's down to you at the end of the day. You know, it's only you can really get through these things. It's down to you. Boy, oh boy. I mean, I'm still in shock. I'm being honest, I'm still in shock still. In shock. But you know, um, 
you have to carry on sometimes. But you know, I always say to people who are suffering in silence, don't be afraid to speak out to what really is going on inside you. I know it's hard for some people to do this. I know for a fact because I was like it for quite a few years quite a lot of years to be honest and that's why I put on a brave face all the time even though I was battling with my own demons a tough old world isn't it I mean I had one of my cousins visit me a short while ago God bless you Chris because I know you watch my videos on YouTube Chris God bless you thank you for that you know we have to stick together in these times of need. We have to. We have to help one another. We have to. We've got to accept that help. Just by just sitting down, talking to someone, whether it be on your phone or video chat or meeting them in person. You know, like yesterday, I heard the news on the Tuesday night. And... I was thinking about myself, shall I cancel that that date I've got with my friend because she's into spiritual stuff and she's really good, Maxine, bless her. She's like my older sister, you know, but I thought, no, because she's coming all the way from where she lives to come and meet me, you know, and I thought, that's what I needed. That's what I needed yesterday. I did. Because probably if I cancelled it, I probably would have probably been feeling worse now, like, you know, I probably wouldn't have done this video. Nine times out of ten, I probably wouldn't have done this video. But that's the thing. Don't be afraid in, in how you are hurting on the inside with these things, you know. Don't be afraid to speak up. But I know there's some people out there who won't speak up, I know, and then some of them do the unthinkable, you know. And it's like, I've always said this with my videos, none of my videos are these kind of videos where you see these people doing all the special effects things and, you know, and glamorizing their own videos I'm not like that I don't knock them I don't you know I don't judge them for who they are for doing them that's up to them but I don't do that stuff that's not my style of thing I like to lay things bare about the truth of things in life you know and there was one time I was kind of like afraid to to be like that I used to think, oh, it's a sign of weakness, but it's not. Now that I know what it's really like, it's not a sign of weakness at all. It's totally the opposite. Trying to be honest and open to others, you know, about things in life. But yes, anyway, um, I just wanted to let you all know that, yes, as you know, I'm back online now, so I'll be doing videos as and when, you know, I feel that I want to do them. Not because I have to do them, because I want to. Like, I want to do this video for you today. You know, but, um, but yes, I'm settling in here, okay. It's a very spacious place, you know. I can do my training in the, the main living room, plenty of room. More room than a that I actually thought the flat was going to be like, because I thought, you know, because of the P3, it was going to be a smaller place, but no, this is, it's very big, big place, big place. But yes, anyway, um, again, I've had some more subscribers, I've noticed. Um, I've been checking on my channel as of before I did this video. So thank you for those of you who are new to my channel. Thank you very much, I really do appreciate it. And if for those of you who just watch my videos, you haven't subscribed to my channel, yeah, just go and subscribe, you know, there's no pressure at all. It's entirely up to you, again, you know, um, if you do subscribe, click the notification bell, uh, like, share and comment, you know. Um, I'm just being me at the end of the day. I'm 
what more can I be? Just by being myself. Yeah, but yeah. M how's my training going? It's going very good. You know, I've been focusing a lot on my core strength and my flexibility. You know, and that's, that's what I enjoy doing. Because before I moved in here, I was, I was living down in Techno, which some of you know. And I was using their place, uh, their little gymnasium around West Park, what they've got. And I was doing my Qigong walking around there. And people used to watch me stretching my legs on certain apparatus. And they always said, does that hurt? He says, well, you know, flexibility work. Of course, it does hurt in the beginning, but, you know, you get used to it as time goes by. But yeah, see, I'm just being me. You know, I just do what I enjoy. But anyway, again, thank you for those of you who are on my channel, and I really do appreciate this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please stay safe out there, everybody. And sending out my big love as always to all of you out there because this is what the world needs more of we need more love in this world to help one another i just wish i had a magic wand to share that love out there to help people in life who are struggling in, and suffering in silence you know